Who owns life? Life, uh, a living thing, an organism, is defined, scientifically defined, by its ability to reproduce. DNA cracks the code of life. When the sea blows onto my land against my wishes of fantasy, you're not allowed to use your own sea? Well, that's going too far. The patent that the plaintiffs rely upon is a patent for a gene, not a canola plant and not a canola seed. You seed a thousand acres, you need 5,000 pounds of seed. That's, that's a lot of seed. <laughs> If a farmer grows a crop and he retains the seeds, he can subsequently grow crops which inherit this tendency. So, the manner in which Monsanto deals with this product requires that it continually monitor farmers who are suspected of acquiring the seed in other ways, without signing a contract, a process that is sometimes called brown bagging. We still believe that Mr. Schmeiser obtained that seed inappropriately from, from somebody. In this case, someone alleges a crime was committed. None of us were at the scene. We don't know what happened. In the judge's decision, you violate Monsanto's patent if it blows on your field or uh, gets on your field regardless of. But now you're worried because your daughter eats this GM canola? Just listen, listen, all right? When Monsanto was developing these products, it was a company filled with brilliant scientists, and its customers were farmers.